Hello everyone, I'm here once again and in today's video I would like to share the readings for this coming Sunday, August 25, 2024. To start with, let's have our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us the opportunity to listen to your words to Lord. Please send us your Holy Spirit that we may understand the readings that we're going to take up. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. So brothers and sisters, since we have already our opening prayer, let's proceed to the Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of Jesus' disciples who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept that? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life, but there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe on the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason, I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer accompanied him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Here, my brothers and sisters, in the Holy Gospel, as we see, this is the continuation of the last Gospel, last Sunday's Gospel, when Jesus said to his disciples, to the crowd, that he is the living bread that came down from heaven. And whoever eats this bread will have eternal life. And the the bread that he gave is his flesh, for his flesh is true food and his blood is true drink. Again, so brothers and sisters, those who hear this word said, it's hard to accept. It's hard to accept, meaning they don't believe. So those who don't believe, those disciples who don't believe in Jesus, in Jesus' words, return back to their way former way of life and those who believe jesus stayed with him and those disciples are um his uh, one of those disciples are uh, 10 of those disciples are the apostles his apostles and in fact uh, they said to jesus to whom shall we go you are the words of, you are the words of eternal life and we have come to believe that you are the Holy One of God. Amen. So brothers and sisters, let's proceed to the first reading. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered together all the tribes of Israel at Sikkim summoning their elders, their leaders, their judges, and their officers. When they stood in ranks before God, Joshua addressed all the people, If it does not please you to serve the Lord, decide today whom you will serve, the gods your fathers served beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose country you are now dwelling. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. But the people answered, Far be it from us to forsake the Lord for the service of other gods. For it was the Lord our God who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt, out of a state of slavery. He performed 
those great miracles before our very eyes and protected us from our protected us along our entire journey and among the people through whom we passed therefore we also will serve the lord for he is our god the word of the lord thanks be to god here my brothers and sisters we can see here we can we heard here in this first reading that as Joshua, as Joshua summon all the summon the summon the seven tribe to get summon the the tribes of Israel in Sikkim, summoning their leaders, their their elders and their judges and their officers, and he asked them to whom you serve. You serve the other uh, gods, the other gods, or the Lord. And then, Joshua said, As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. As, as soon as the people heard that, we also said that uh, we also want to serve the Lord. The Lord who brought them out from Egypt, from the land of slavery, and from the very eyes they saw the signs, the miracles that the Lord God uh, showed to them on that very day when the Lord our God uh, when the Lord our God brought them out from the land of Egypt. So they also want to serve the Lord our God the Lord our God and for Amen. So brothers and sisters let's proceed to the second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be subordinate to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands and to the, as to the Lord. For the husband is head of his wife, just as Christ is head of the church. He himself the Savior of the body. As the church is subordinate to Christ, so wives should be subordinate to their husbands. In everything, husbands love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her, to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with a word that he might present to himself the church in splendor without spot or wrinkle or any such thing that she might be holy and without blemish so also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies he who loves his wife loves himself for no one hates his own flesh but rather nourishes and cherishes it. Even as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife. And the two shall become one. This is a great mystery. But I speak in reference to Christ and the church. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here, my brothers and sisters, we hear St. Paul teaching the Ephesians and reminding them that as husband and wife, they must love each other. Wife must subordinate to their husband. And husband must love his wife as he loves himself. For no one loves himself hates for no one hates himself, uh, for no one loves himself, hates him. So as he loves himself, he must love his wife as Christ do, as Christ loved the church and bath him with the word so that he might be holy and um, without wrinkles or blemishes or spot. Yan po. So, brothers and sisters, St. Paul encouraged everyone, most especially the husband and wife, to love each other, be subordinate to each other. 
So, love each other. Wife, subordinate to husband. Husband, love your wife. And then, like Christ. So, this um, St. Paul refer to Christ and the church. So, here, uh, here brothers and sisters, St. Paul um, explain how Christ loved the church. So, a husband also must show love to his wife how husband must love his wife as Christ do to the church. Amen. So, um, as a family, so we uh, we as a family serve the Lord Jesus Christ, like in the gospel, in the in, in the first reading that in I mean the first reading that Joshua said, as for me, me as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. So, in the in the Holy Gospel, or also. Uh, Christ um, Christ said that uh, from the beginning he said I mean Christ from the beginning knew who believe and who doesn't believe and who uh, who believe and who betray him so those who believe in Christ uh, who, those who believe in Jesus Christ's words follow him never leave him serve him yeah, so brothers and sisters, we serve the Lord as a family. Yeah, so brothers and sisters, thank you very much. And I hope that um, may nakukuha po kayong aral na maidagdag po ninyo sa inyong paglalo sa mass for this coming Sunday, August 25. Yeah, po. So thank you very much. And um God invited us all to go always in the church every Sunday as it is in His commandments. Make holy the day of the Lord. Thank you very much and God bless us all. Okay, let's go. 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 